this is essentially um, sort of what we're talking about. And by the way, it doesn't matter, right? Because there's another false dichotomy we create. And I know you're aware of it, Shane, but I'll share it with everyone here. The other false dichotomy we create is this false dichotomy of, um, hey, we should just be eating intuitively, right? You know, just eat intuitively. You don't have to count anything. And then, no, you need to count and track everything. The truth is that's another false dichotomy. It's, it's also, it's basically the same thing we talked about before. It's basically prioritizing quality over quantity or quantity over quality. And my whole thing is it doesn't matter where you start. Maybe Shane's a math guy and he's like, dude, I like to weigh and measure everything and track my calories and my macros. Good for you, Shane, go at it. Maybe I'm an intuitive person and I would just want to wing it and kind of feel it and be like, what, well, this, this makes me feel better, that kind of thing. Good, Jade, do it. But guess what? The proof is in the pudding. So if I'm doing the intuitive approach and not getting results, I'm going to have to move over to the counting and weighing and measuring thing if I want to get results. Likewise, if Shane's over there counting calories and all this and it's acting like a crutch and he never learns to listen to his physiology, he eventually needs to come over to my way of thinking. So all of us are sort of on this journey where we're trying to seamlessly merge these two things. You need to be intuitive enough, but not so intuitive that you don't get results. And you need to be calorie counting and logical and tracking enough, but not so much that it becomes a crush that you don't know what to do when you're traveling or don't have your, you know, your scale or your Tupperware fixed. And this is the game that we're trying to play.